Babaluba Seal Team, baby. Hey, Babaluba Seal Team, baby. I joined up for this, now people think I'm crazy. I joined up for this, now people think I'm crazy. I came here to be one frogman stud. I came here to be one frogman stud. Now all I'm doing is dropping in the mud. Now all I'm doing is dropping in the mud. Anyone do this just ain't right. Anyone do this just. Hello, cadets. Petty Officer Quagliotta here once again with the brass polishing video, as I promised for the neck this week. Um, as you can tell, this belt buckle's already been shined. However, I'm going to show you what I use to make it be reflective. As most NS ones, twos, threes, and fours know about, your standard way of polishing a belt buckle is first to get the quarter mass off. Now, the qu everybody knows the hard working way, which is pouring a brasso on this and just rubbing it until the point that you start seeing the quarter mass come off. There's two other ways that's much quicker that I would like to say before that. I right, begin. You can put brasso on it, get cardboard, like a box, shoe box, rub it against that, and it'll take it off quicker, the quarter mass. Or, the quicker but yet more dangerous way is a cup of ammonia. Put this inside the ammonia with a quarter mass still on it for about, oh, ten minutes till you start seeing this black stuff appear on here and like a film. That's the quarter mass getting ripped off. And then all you gotta do is shine your belt buckle after that point. Now, this doesn't have quarter mass on it, nor have I used Brasso on it. Because Brasso honestly does not work. Here is the bottle right here to prove. This is the Brasso. What Brasso does will actually just dull your belt and make it look cloudy. Unless you might know a way to uh, I guess shine it with the Brasso quicker and make it like this reflective and everything. Now my request if you want something that's like Brasso there's another stuff called another substance called Goddard, which is like a British company, instead of the American company of Brasso. Uh, Goddard actually makes it about looking like this as well. Because I've used it before, but I use something completely now even different. Because I went to my uh, from one of my uh, fellow LA nominee friends uh, taught me is he buys from an auto shop something called Blue Magic. It's about a seven ounce jar, um, and I have it right here actually with me. This stuff really does work. It polishes all metal. This is what it looks like. It might say right now for chrome, aluminum, and mag wheels. However, this is really a rim cleaner, but it's metal. It, per it basically shines all metal, cleans it, and protects it. Now, uh,. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Safe for all metals. Chrome, aluminum, magnesium, brass, gold, copper, silver, stainless steel, and fiberglass. So folks, this will work with any metal and still shine it. So if you don't have the NJROTC brass buckles and you have the maybe the Air Force silver buckles or something like that, it still works. Now, this stuff comes in a 7 ounce jar. You don't need to use a whole lot to shine your belt buckle. All you need is like maybe like a little dab. I'm not even exaggerating. Like a little dab and it'll make your belt buckle like this for like 3 days. Now, what you're going to need with it is one of these. This is a microfiber cloth. It's the, These work the best with it because it doesn't leave streaks or anything like that. Um and it also truly is a better cloth to use on it because it won't scratch the buckle over time or anything like that so without further ado let's show you how this is now the substance does have ammonia like Brasso and Goddard however it's blue and it looks like this like a paste now, like I said, like all you're gonna need is a little dab. So we'll just 
get this end right here and there's actually some on the top here so perfect I don't have to dip it into the actual container little dab that's a little too much actually now what you're going to do is now we're going to grab the belt buckle like so and in circular motion we're going to cover the entire bu belt buckle and uh, cover it with this substance get a little bit more Now, for the for your first time using it, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look like it's turning your belt buckle black. That's just it getting off all the tarnish and whatnot. Or if you haven't shined your belt in days, it's gonna look black on it at first. But it's not really uh, damaging your belt or anything. It's cleaning it because this cleans deeper than Brasso or Goddard put together. All right, now with one clean end of the microfiber cloth, we're gonna wipe it off wipe the cream off first and then I'll tell you what stage three is now it's gonna look cloudy like if you use Brasso now watch this we're gonna get a even cleaner part of it well as clean as we can find it and now watch we're gonna add some nice elbow grease and pressure And get ready for the magic, guys, because this is why it's known as blue magic. Ta da! Reflective. So. It actually does work, like I said. It gets you a nice reflective look, so it will. So uh, in inspection, you will not be confused for somebody that didn't shine their belt. But either way, if you did use Brasso, it it still won't count against you because you could tell you shined your belt because if you haven't, it should look like a dark bronze like look. You could tell when you haven't shined your belt. So, folks, this was a shorter video, more or less, to show you guys how to shine your brass and with what material should you use to make it look as great as that for inspection. Now, guys, next week, like I said, I should have an ironing video, and then I'll be actually posting up two videos at once, and how to iron your uniform video and how to put your ribbons and whatnot on your uniform, the measurements and everything. Uh, this has been Petty Officer Pogliata Mario, and I wish you all a good day.